It's another thing when it's cookbook. Greg Doucette, who is somebody who I thought everybody could respect. The victim card, here it is, I'm cashing it in. Coach Greg, who's a male, is talking about me, and I'm a female who has transitioned from being a male. Coach Greg, and in today's video, I'm getting called out by a trans woman. She made a video where she puts down other women. And remember, she was born male and transitioned to female. Why is women's bench so bad? And not only that, the one woman where she says is strong in the bench press, she says, oh, she's got little T-Rex arms. She's, she's 400 pounds. I mean, not compared to me. We all know that I'm a tranny freak, so that doesn't count. And so in my response video, I explained why females are not as strong as males in the bench press. In particular, men are born with more testosterone, therefore they have greater muscle mass. And so if you transition to female at a later date, you have a significant advantage. And why the bench press in particular? Well, of all the lifts, men are going to have the most advantage in the bench press. And why? Because males have much more upper body muscle mass than females. And so if you compare males to females in the squat, bench, and deadlift at the same body weight, that's right, the same size, women are going to be at a significant disadvantage in the bench press. In the other lifts, squat and deadlift, not so far off. And this is just due to gender differences of where men hold muscle in comparison to women. And so some sports, men are at a greater advantage than others. And the bench press and powerlifting, well, that is a huge advantage for the males. Other sports, like swimming, for example, there's not a huge advantage to being male. But of course, there's still an advantage, but it's not as obvious as it is in the bench press. And out of respect to her, I never mentioned her name. Of course, if I say her name and say, hey, this is her channel, this is her name, people are going to write her publicly and privately, and she's going to get a lot of negativity. My focus was on telling people, you shouldn't put other people down. Why are you making fun of someone for not doing the bench press? You should know better. And so for me, it was even more strange to see a male who transitioned to female who would put other females down. Why would you do that? But after seeing the video, she was upset. Upset with Coach Greg. It's another thing when it's... Cookbook! Greg Doucette, who was somebody who... I thought everybody could respect. Someone I respected and honestly believed was a supporter of Everyone Should Lift was using my name for clickbait. He didn't even give me credit or link to me. Rather insulting. And so she's saying I'm not a supporter of Everyone Should Lift. Of course I am. In making this video, I'm supporting Everyone Should Lift by saying you shouldn't make fun of other people for being weak. How does that support? How does it support other people to lift when you say that you're weak? Imagine I'd done the other video. Hey, she's right. All you women are pathetic. You have no strength. And those of you that do is because you have little T-Rex arms and you're 400 pounds. Would that sound like I'm supporting women to powerlift? Or would it sound like I'm making fun of them? And notice her choice of words. Didn't even give me credit. Or link to me. Rather insulting. Really, it's insulting that I wouldn't want hundreds, perhaps thousands of people to write you DMs, go to your page, spam you, promoting hate. You really think that's an insult to you? And where did I use your name for clickbait? I never said your name. And notice you had under 400 followers at the time. When you use clickbait, it's because you're using someone's popularity, their fame, to get their followers to come to me. And so if you had 5 million followers and I did the same video, of course clickbait. When I do a video about The Rock, of course The Rock's clickbait. He's super famous. You had under 400 followers at the time. Your name is in clickbait. Sorry to break it to you. If you have a shred of respect, I'm willing to talk with you. You can make this right. You can use your platform to be a good human and bring us all up. Imagine how narcissistic this woman is. She thinks he's doing great. I'm doing great things here. I'm willing to talk to you. Why would I want to talk to you? You're putting other women down. The sheer level of support I have received from the powerlifting community at large is staggering. Well, in actuality, if you know what was going on behind the scenes, you wouldn't think so much. You really think everyone wants to be competing against you? Do you really think everyone wants to come in second, third, fourth, fifth behind someone who has a significant advantage?
Do you think all governing bodies, they're 100% supportive? The heavy circles are happy you showed up. Circles is what I call everyone because I'm all about inclusion. And I never said she shouldn't compete. I never said she shouldn't be allowed to lift. I said she shouldn't be putting other women down, calling them weak. And I educated her. She asked, why is it that women are so weak in the bench press? And I gave her that answer. Seems to me someone who was once a man and has transitioned to female would be more considerate of other people's feelings. And so I went to write a comment on this post and it said, comments on this post have been limited. And so what happens is she allows the supportive comments, the ones that are on her side, saying, you're amazing. Keep doing the things that make you happy and don't let anyone dim your light. This is a sport for everyone. I'll fight anyone who says otherwise. Not cool, but you, you're an amazing inspiration for everyone, which is really cool. Cookbook the haters. You are awesome. Do your best to let it go. Difficult, I know, and keep on keeping on. As if Coach Greg did anything wrong. I answered her question and said, you should not put down other women that you're competing against, calling them weak. How is that bad? How am I not inclusive? Wow, totally cookbooked up. And he follows at Elliot Page of all people. Keep your head up and keep lifting, girl. Really? But if enough people stand up together, it will stop because the new norm will be to be together and unite and be proud of each other and promote positivity. And so does anyone think I'm not supportive of the trans community? Anyone, raise your hand. And who do you really think is chasing clout? Who's the one making the newspapers, the articles? Welcome to Anne Says Something Controversial. Well, you got the controversy you wanted. And you're complaining? You started it and I ended it. You had the question, why are females weak in the bench press? And I answered your question in detail. Are you happy now? Do you want a medal? Of course you do. Why do you think you're competing at nationals in powerlifting to beat out all the other women? Because you want the gold medal. Hallmark Henry, I watched the video you did on her. You're totally in the right. She's playing the victim because that's much easier than owning up to her own hypocrisy. And so if you really think of it, wouldn't it be smart of her to take her video down? To perhaps make another video? I'd like to apologize to all the other females who I'll be competing against for calling them weak in the bench press. I didn't mean it. I was just trying to say something controversial so that I could become famous. And the reason I made that post about Coach Greg is, well, I'm trying to get famous. But I guess if she can't be famous, well, she'll settle for being infamous. You know, famous for doing something wrong. Now you have your answer. Men have more muscle in their upper bodies than their lower bodies. Just think of male's center of gravity in comparison to females. Female's center of gravity, much lower. Males are more top heavy. They have more upper body mass. Just look at my chest and shoulders and arms in comparison to that of a female. In comparison, look at a female's hips and quads and so on. If you compare men and women in their lower halves, it's a lot closer to being the same than in their upper halves. And so when you see smaller females lifting incredibly heavy weights in the squat and deadlift, but you don't see that in the bench press, now you know why. And so is my channel not educational? You think it's all drama. Oh, this is a drama video. And yet you just learn about human anatomy, the differences between males and females, and why in particular women are weaker than men in the bench press. Oh, it all makes sense now. Decided to take my video out of context. Really, you're the one that called them weak. Out of context? Shame. Used to respect him as a force for good. Yeah, I'm totally a force of evil. Everyone knows Coach Craig is evil. If you say it enough, sometimes it comes true. I will be okay. As she deadlifts 528 pounds off of four inch blocks. I'm going to be okay. The victim card, here it is. I'm cashing it in. Coach Craig, who's a male, is talking about me. And I'm a female who has transitioned from being a male. And so listen, I'm making sure I get the pronouns correct. Yes, I'm a trans woman, get over it. And so did I disrespect her as a human being or did I treat her just like everyone else? Oh, Coach Greg, you're, you're pretending you're some social justice warrior. You don't actually believe that. I always tell you what I freaking think, and I treat everyone the same. Black, white, male, female, transgender, he, she, they. 
doesn't freaking matter to me, and it shouldn't matter to you. Black, white, brown, purple, blue, tall, short, skinny, fat. Do I not treat everyone, all of us, as circles? And so just because she's a trans woman, as she states in her profile, does not mean I'm attacking her for being a trans woman. I'm attacking what she's saying the choice of words and why she chose to do them. And so what would be the ultimate sign of respect? Would it not be treating everyone the same, giving them the exact same advantages and disadvantages that I would give everyone else? And so let me know in the comment section, was I attacking her or was I attacking what she was saying? Was I disrespecting her as a human being or was I simply trying to educate and explain the differences between males and females when it comes to genetic strength advantages for the bench press? And whether you were born male or female, testosterone can help. Consider getting G-Test if you have lower levels of testosterone. Several of the ingredients in G-Test were scientifically shown in human studies to increase testosterone by 1 to 200 nanograms each. Andrew Huberman on the Joe Rogan podcast stated this, and even Jeff Nippard's taking 600 milligrams of ashwagandha a day. And aside from a test booster, of course you can take ActiBuilder. ActiBuilder, absolutely love this supplement. Increase strength, recovery time, build more muscle. The various Acti steroids in ActiBuilder have been shown scientifically also in human studies. You're thinking it's just in rats. It's not. You want to read the studies, email us. We will send you the studies. You can read all of them for yourself. And looking for these supplements, click the link in the description. Use code Greg 10% off. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm, watch one of the bloops, and of course, coaching plans by me and my team, the training books, the circle diet book, the cookbook. Of course you want the cookbook. And until next time, I'm out.